everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. Welcome back to our 2021 Fiber Flux Summer Crochet Long. We are working on a bunch of fun spa projects for the summer spa getaway for our crochet along. That's our theme this time. And today we are going to be making these beautiful little spa cloths or uh, they're like little washcloths you can use. Um, we're going to be using, if you recognized it from some of the other projects we've done, we're going to be using this beautiful closed um, shell stitch pattern. And I've made a few here in the colors that I've been choosing for my projects. I've been using these same three colors for all the projects so it'll make a beautiful set at the end of our crochet along. So each one of these cloths is about six inches by six inches. However, later in the video, I am going to give you the multiples of the stitch so that if you want to make an oversized cloth or just a small scrubby, you can really change the dimensions if you like. Now for our crochet along, if you haven't joined our groups, we have a Facebook group and we have a Ravelry group. I'll put the links down below and you can join those groups if you want to hang out with some of the other makers. You can show off your work. You can um, share the colors that you'll be using or ask questions. There's a lot of really knowledgeable people in there that have been crocheting for a long time that jump right in and help. So it's a wonderful place, both groups, to hang out. So let's get started. We're going to learn how to do the starting chain, learn how to work up the stitch, and then I'm going to show you how to add a hanging loop if you like or not. It's totally up to you and finish off your project. It's a super easy little cloth and these also make wonderful gifts as well. So let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a tape measure is helpful because we're gonna be making our cloths with the same width and height to make a nice square shape. So the ruler or tape measure will be super helpful. For our hook, um, we're gonna be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to get one for yourself as well. Um, we are going to be using this size hook for all the projects in our um, spa getaway crochet along, just as a side note. And we're also using the same yarn for all the projects in this cow. So the yarn we'll be using is called 24 seven cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. Um, if you have a dishcloth uh, yarn, uh, that you'd like to use. Just know it's a medium four on the yarn weight scale. And this particular yarn recommends a four millimeter G crochet hook. And if you notice, we went up a hook size and that's because for the spa items, they tend to um, get wet. So I wanted to go up a hook size to hopefully open up the stitches a little bit and allow for faster drying time. So um, some cotton dishcloth yarn, and a five millimeter H crochet hook. Now I'm gonna make one in each color so that um, these are one of those things to have lots of because um, you can use them for a variety of things and you may have one drying when you need a fresh one. So we're gonna be using a couple of colors. This is the lilac colorway and this is called aqua and then this is called ecru. So we're gonna make one of each color for that. We're gonna make one together in the lilac colorway so what we need to do first is put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make our, a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop. Reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. We're going to use the same um, shell stitch that we've used for some of the other projects because we are making a set or collection. Um, that way the stitches will match and it'll all look nice together. So the same closed shell stitch that we've made for some of the other projects is a multiple of six plus one. So if you're not familiar with that concept, all it is is when you're doing your starting chain, you just go six plus six plus six plus six plus six and so forth until you get the width that you want and then add one more chain onto that. So our starting chain for our cloth is going to be 31. Now if you want a large oversized cloth, you can of course change um, your starting chain using that multiple they gave you. Or if you want like a small scrubby type cloth, you can uh, make it narrower, okay? So we're gonna do 31 chains. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. 
So here is our starting chain, just like that, okay? So for row one, what we're gonna do is in the fourth chain from the hook, and if you've made some of these other spa items with us, you may um, this might feel very familiar to you, but we're still gonna walk through it. If you need to skip ahead, that's perfectly fine too. So in the fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna work two double crochet. This loop here does not count. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And actually, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see better. And in that fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna work two double crochets. So to make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, go into that chain, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops, and then in the same chain, you wanna put another double crochet, just like that. Okay? Then what we're gonna do is skip two chains, one, two, and in the chain after that, we're going to work a single crochet. So insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, you'll have two loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops, and then we're going to skip two chains, one, two, and in the chain after that, we're going to work four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four, all in that same chain. Okay, so now we have our little uh, shell sequence established. We're gonna continue across until we just have three double, uh, single, uh, excuse me, until we have three chains at the end, okay? So let's keep up with our sequence. Skip two chains, in the chain after that, work a single crochet, just like that. Let me get a little bit more yarn here. Skip two chains, in the next chain, work four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Skip two chains, work a single crochet in the chain after that. Skip two chains, work four double crochets in the chain after that. One, two, three, and four. We're making some quick progress across the row here. Then we're going to skip two chains, work a single crochet after that. Skip two chains, work four double crochets after that. One, two, three, and four. And then remember we work all the way across until we have just three chains left. So at the end here, what we're gonna do is skip two chains and in that very last chain, work a single crochet to finish off the row. All right, just like that. So we have some lovely little shells established and we're going to move on to row two next. For row two, we don't have to count any chains. All we have to do is work into some of these shells from the previous row. So what we're gonna do is chain three. One, two, three. Let me get some more yarn here. And we're gonna turn our work. Then in this first single crochet of the row, at the very beginning here, we're going to work two double crochets into that single crochet. So one, and two, just like that. And then we're going to work a single crochet in the center of this first shell. So remember, we made our shells with four double crochets. So locate the center of it, 
So you'll have two double crochets on the side here, two double crochets on the other side, and in between, in the very middle, is a space. In that space, you're gonna work a single crochet. So go right in that center of that shell in that space and work a single crochet. Bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Just like that, okay? Then we're gonna go in between the shell we just worked and the next shell and there's a single crochet in the middle of them. We're gonna work four double crochets into that single crochet in between, okay? So let's do that. One, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna hop over to that next shell and once again in the very middle of it, in that space, work a single crochet. Okay, then what we're gonna do is go in between the next two shells, there'll be a single crochet right there in the middle, work four double crochets into that stitch, into that single crochet stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Hop over to the next shell and in the middle of it, in between, very center in that space, work a single crochet. Hop over to the single crochet in between the next two shells, right here in the center, and work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. All right, moving right along, we're gonna hop over to that next shell in the space in the very center, work a single crochet. Hop over to the space in between the next two shells in that single crochet, you're gonna work four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and now to finish up the row, what we're gonna do is go down to the end. Now we had two double crochets here at the end, and then we have our turning chain. Right next to the turning chain and in between those last two stitches is a space, the turning chain space. What we're gonna do is work a single crochet right into that turning chain space to finish up the row. And row two is complete and it looks very cute. Now what we have, I just wanna count on, on row two. When you finish row two, you'll have a, like a half shell and you'll have one, two, three, four full shells, okay? So to continue, what we're gonna do is keep, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. What we're gonna do is keep repeating row two over and over and over again. Just make sure the width and the height are the same before you finish, okay? So it's a nice square cloth. Now we're gonna do an optional hanging loop because a hanging loop's very handy if you have a wet cloth that um, you wanna hang up. So when we rejoin, we're gonna finish up the dishcloth, do a little finish work with these ends, and we're gonna add a lovely little hanging loop at the top. Okay, we continued until the height was the same as the width of our uh, little cloth here. And I'm just gonna work my last stitch of the row Got a single crochet in that turning chain space. And now you can fasten off your little spa cloth now if you would like and just have a square. But if you wanna put a hanging loop in it, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So all you need to do, it's super easy, is just chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then all you're gonna do is go back down to the bottom and at the base of that chain where that little loop is, actually let me zoom in so you can see that better. Right there at the base, that little loop, you're gonna go in with your hook and work a slip stitch. So insert the hook, bring up the loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook and you have a little hanging loop now. So then what you can do is grab your scissors and then you're just gonna wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through, just like that, and pull it nice and tight. 
straighten everything out as needed. And then you can grab your tapestry needle and you'll probably have two tails unless you did some stripes or changed your ball of yarn. But you're gonna go in one direction with your needle through the stitches. And this is a reversible cloth, so it looks the same on both sides. So when you weave in your ends, try to go through the middle of the stitches and not on too much on one side or the other, okay? Try to go through those middle stitches or the middle loops rather, okay? And then you can grab your scissors and give that a snip. Straighten everything out. And then do the same for the other tail. Just go in with that tapestry needle through the middle of those stitches. You can even go through the ply of the yarn if you want it to be really snug, okay? So go in one direction, gently tug, come back in the other direction with your tapestry needle. And then grab your scissors, once again, give it a snip. Okay, so let's look at our handiwork. It looks really, really nice. And I also went ahead and made one in each color of our little spa color palette that we've had here. So we have a purple one, we have an aqua one, and each one I made has a hanging loop. I really love the idea of being able to hang this up and let it dry um, from a little hook or something, or even like the faucet. You can make your loop bigger, more than 10 chains, if you need to hang it on like a knob or faucet or something like that. But I did one in the ecru, the aqua, and the lilac. So that is our little spa cloths. And um, just before we go, if you haven't joined the Ravelry group or the Facebook group, the links are below. Hop on over to that and um, join those groups. If you're working on these projects, you can get ideas. You can see what everybody's making, what colors they're using. And it's a really fun place to hang out. So I will see you next week for the next project. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlex video updates. Thanks again.